MP, Mikey Pipes, and PP, Peter Pan. Peter Pan. What's going on, guys? Happy Monday. Monday, January 10th, 2022. We are heading back. Not heading back. We are heading to St. Albans, Queens. Queens. We're going to Queens. Customers got a Williamson gas-fired boiler. And the temperature is not getting, not exceeding 160 degrees on the boiler. And he's calling for help. Now I know we've been there before. It's a legal two family house. They have two boilers. I believe they're GWA 70s. One for the first floor in the basement and one for the second floor apartments. So the first and second, sorry, the first floor and basement boiler is not exceeding 160 degrees. The last time we were there, we adjusted the aquastat from 170 to 190 because the house was cold. They were shivering in their skivvies. They were shivering. So probably either someone played with that or there's something else wrong. So we're heading on over there. Hopefully I'll make some great content with PP, Peter Pan. And I'll be able to feed you food, sustenance, nourishment. And you in return, if you haven't done so already, you are going to subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, Mikey Pipes is gonna pay you a visit. Maybe give you some cement shoes. Just joking. And make sure you smash that thumbs up button, like that. And if you want stickers, like these, looks like me. Doesn't it look like me? Email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. Stickers are free. There's plenty of money in the postage fund. Thanks for generous donations from viewers like you. Thank you for supporting Mikey Pipes. Sounds like the PBS channel, right? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get going. Timer flash seven times. ET system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. Hi. Do you have a, a leak on the relief valve? Yeah. Do I change the expansion tank? Alright. Try. So what's going on now? The heat doesn't get above uh, 160 degrees? Yes. Alright. Let's go see what's going on. On Smoke detectors. Which one is it? First one? And what happens? It doesn't. Let's see, Apple set to. Apple set to. 210. Damn, that's hot. So what's the complaint? It, it's not um, it, it's not passing the hundred, the hundred and, and sixty, and um, it's hot. It's, I don't know if that's it's warm. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Thermostat is on right now, right? Yeah. Let's lower the economy adjust to zero. Probably got a either a bad temperature probe or you got a bad no, control module. I called I called on um, the guys um that was Friday. Okay. But then um nobody didn't show up. You called us on Friday? Yeah, Friday we evening. Were, we were closed on Friday. Yeah, I know, but now they say I could call the emergency. Yeah. I wasn't getting I wasn't getting nothing. Okay. So then I, I called somebody else. Okay. I wasn't getting nothing. Yeah. So when they when they come and they whatever check, then they um they say there's some. I guess let me show you the uh, the piece. They say, that okay. They yeah. put that in. No, they didn't put it in. You bought that? Yeah. Oh, so you have this? Yeah, I have. You it. want us to put this in for you? Yeah. All right. Pail bucket. I mean pail hose, little hose. Okay. We'll drain this bad boy in, put this thing in. Hopefully that's the whole's problem. 
If not, then um, you guys plumbing supply house. Huh? Wait, which, which, wait, what? You guys have plumbing supply house, right? Yeah, by that um, Cypress. Okay. No. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah. All right, we'll put it in. Hopefully, that's all from. We'll see. Okay. New temperature probe is in. We are at 100 and actually dropping 155 degrees. This Aquastat boil temp. See? Cranked all the way up, 210. Let's set that at 190 this time. Economy, let's set that to minimum. And now she's firing up because we're at 148 degrees. So let's see what happens. Power, T-stat, circulator, limit, damper, and flame, all active. Let's see what it turns off at now. Now we're at one just before 160 and turned off again so either the tridicator gauge is wrong right or we have a defective boiler control all right for testing purposes we have an external manual reset high temperature aquastat that's set for 180 this boiler is now at 150-ish degrees, and we're at max on the gas control. Let's see what happens next. All right, uh, hair under 150 degrees. The boiler control has the limit light on. The damper is opening. The damper light's going to come on, then flame. And let's see what this fire is up to. Time. Yep, same thing. Cut out at 100, right before 160 degrees. See, so we have a bad, it's not that. We got a bad boiler control. All right, page 30. BWA, Williamson, Will McLean. Temperature sensor, let's check the resistance values. All right, this is what it should be in ohms. And we need to test between, I don't know, probably the reds. Doesn't say. Oh, he wants us to put the sensor in water between thermosistor number and thermosistor common. <laughs> okay. Boiler temperature. All right. Red and white. And R and O. That doesn't help me. And then I guess R and O, red and orange, or red and red. Well, let's figure it out. See figure 30, page 50. I say 48. Oh, hold on, hold on. Gas valve sensor. There is no page 50. It ends at page 48. Maybe it's a typo. Oh, 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 we're getting closer. Parts. 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 Check temperature sensor for correct resistance, but it doesn't tell us which wire goes which. There's no page 50. Troubleshooting spark. Back to page 30. Let's figure it out. So we think it's around 160 degrees. So our resistance will be there somewhere in the 2100 range, 2200 range. And lower if it's that. 
All right, between red and white, we have 44.74. Red and white is 44.74. Our limit is flashing. Forty-four seventy-four. The boiler thinks it's around a little less than one hundred and fifty degrees. Forty-four seventy-four. That's one. No. Forty-four. <sighs> Ten thousand twenty-one on the old temperature sensor, which equals about what it is in here. It's around 75, 80 degrees in here. It's warm in here. Big boiler room. This is this is good. Hold on to that. They're not gonna let you return the old one that you used. You need this the control board. And we already verified that. And it's the red and the white. Which are opposite the two opposite the clip. That red stupid thing. Let's see? Bad control. Bad control, bad harness? No. Harness is good. You know what we could do? Got a paper clip? Paper clip. What's that? What's it's, a paper clip? It's, it's like a thin piece of metal. You know, like put papers together. No? Piece of wire? No? You have any? Uh, do you want a piece of thermostat wire from the truck? We know the control's bad anyway. All right, guys. Now I know what some of you were thinking during the video. Like Mikey Pipes. You're a hypocrite. If you ain't testing, you're guessing. You just took out that temperature probe and slapped it in there without even testing it. You're right. Shame on me. I didn't think the information was gonna be in the manual and I did not feel like calling up Will McLean because they have very long hold times. But sure enough, it was in the manual. No, oh, speed bump. Shh, damn. You know what's bad about these, these long Mercedes Sprinter Benzes? If you go over a bump like that, mm -hmm. everything in the back is like, well, the hornet's nest what, please? Everything in the back is sayonara. Everything is on the floor. All right. So yeah, that's why I didn't test it. But I tested it at the end anyway, because here I am. You know, the board was not in the truck. Do oh! Say it. Do oh. <laughs> No, come I, on. Say it with emphasis like I you mean it. I like this. Do oh! Do oh! Do oh! Can't do that? I can't do it. Why not? And we do it for you? Yeah. Bow! Oh, then wasn't someone gonna pay you to smack the shit out of yeah, like Daniel's son? I think uh, Austin? Yeah. Because he already got like, what, $300 when I shoved into his mouth? Oh, yeah. You, you didn't see that video? Uh, Over the you. summer, when he first started, there was a fun. People was like, sent me money, like $300, and I mashed it, and we shoved it down his throat. Oh, really? <laughs> Look at this. Drop like a putz! It was fun. We shoved the money. There. Actually, I made him eat it. Oh, yeah? I wasn't going to shove it into his mouth, like just like shove it the money, $100 bill into his mouth, but it's money, it's money you know? Money money. And it probably was like in a stripper's crack somewhere, you know, but nonetheless, he took that money, maybe gave it to his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, no, I forget. I'm not going to mention her name. But hi, if you're watching. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Say hi, grandma. Hi, grandma. Hey, Danny, we miss you. Danny, yeah, we miss you. Hope you're having fun. Effing guy. Effing guy. guy takes a week off in the middle of winter. But it's my fault. I let him. It's all good. We'll manage. Yeah. But it's all right. What goes around comes around. Because guess what's going to happen when he comes back? You can take a two-month-long vacation. Maybe. To nah. <laughs> no, but I'll go away for a nice long weekend. A long weekend that usually starts Wednesday night and ends Tuesday morning. That's what we call a long weekend. Yeah. You know, for the self-employed and unemployed. No, but you know, he'll have to make it up because, you know, he'll have to make it up. Yeah. You know? It's all good. Hope you suck. Hope you, Daniel, son, I hope you're sucking up the sun. Sipping on pina coladas in Florida. All right, guys. Let me stop ranting and raving. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Monday, January 10th. 2022. Hope the day is right. Turn right. It would suck if it wasn't. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. Really, 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 really appreciate it if you subscribe.
Let's go. Let's have some fun. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.